since we're going to be keeping those planes, we'll go over and change to the black color. We can start drawing planes with the P key. Press P. Go to a corner where we want to snap. Use the gravity snap. Go to another corner. Another corner. Another corner. Enter. And now I'm going to use the control Z, which undoes what we just did because I forgot to tell you about something. When we use the plane command, we have this option, save as a line. Because we w are going to extrude our planes, we want them to be not saved as a line. We want them to be saved as a true plane. So I'm going to undo that, press enter, and now go back to forming the plane. Click, click. I'm using gravity snap. I'm saying click, but it's actually the gravity snap, which is activated with just the period. Okay, now I'm going to do it for this next board. Gravity snap, gravity snap, gravity snap, gravity snap. Enter. P again. Gravity snap, gravity snap, gravity snap, gravity snap. Enter. P one last time. Gravity snap, gravity snap, gravity snap, gravity snap, gravity snap, enter. Okay, now we want to get rid of the, the green guidelines so that all we have left are the black planes. We can activate the select filter using Shift F. You can see in this selection filter that we have the option of selecting out colors under the color tab that are green or that are black. We click on green, click add, add to selection. Close it out. Now everything that's green has been selected. Press delete and what we're left with are the black planes. Now we are finally at the point that we can switch to 3D mode. You'll notice that things are a little off screen. We're going to change from perspective to parallel. And we'll use Control W again to make the view more reasonable. We can change our view, rotate around it using the Y key. This activates the set view command. But the first time you try it, You may notice as you scroll about that things aren't working quite like you want. Here I'm trying to scroll around this object and it's kind of moving off screen. Press enter to stop the Y command. The reason is that we need to set the camera. And this is why at the very beginning of the tutorial I mentioned that I like to have the toolbar out that has the view tool. Here we can click on the little camera. Go down to say this point on our object use the gravity snap and then enter to complete our move. Now when we use Y, and we go to scroll, we scroll around the middle point that we just set. Now we're going to extrude each of these profiles that form our boards. We do this by selecting the first one. And we activate the extrude with the X command. Go over to a corner, gravity snap, and now I'll, we'll introduce you to the relative move command. The relative move is done with the apostrophe.
This allows us to move relative to our last point. I've set the last point option. We want to go six feet into the Z direction. It's moved it off screen, but it's done the command as we asked. We can finalize the extrude by pressing Enter. Press Control W again so that you can see everything. Okay, now we can go to our next profile, extrude it with X. This time, instead of using any uh, distance, we can select this corner here with a gravity snap, select the corresponding point up in the corner with another gravity snap, press Enter, and we have extruded. We'll, we will repeat for this profile, extrude, gravity snap, gravity snap, finish. This pro profile, extrude, gravity snap, gravity snap, finish. Okay, now I'm going to just use the Y command again for a moment to move this around so we can get a nice clear look at it. And now we will open up the information box. You can open the info box with control I or by clicking on this icon at the top of the screen. We're going to select each one of our objects, and we already have our first object selected. We're going to change the material. So we go to each one. We're going to set the material to steel. Even though this will be made out of wood, steel cl most closely resembles the color of the final product when it's painted. Select the next one. There's lots of things you can do with the control box the info box. So you're going to want to investigate that once you get get working in Design CAD. And okay. Here's our object and we've set the material and we've done most of the steps but we would kind of like to see what it looks like rendered. So I'll go up here to the top and you have three little boxes. The first one puts it in wireframe, the next one puts it in hidden line removal and the final one does shading. We click on shading. We're going to enable graphics acceleration. We start with our quick flat shading for this tutorial. Press enter. It looks kind of dark. It looks kind of dark because we really need to set a light. Let's go back to this option, wireframe. We'll turn it back into wireframe for the moment. We use the Q. Remember, Q brings up our options. And we pick the light source tab. Here we have a light source. We want to change its ambience, make it 100%. We're going to change the horizontal angle to minus 30 and the vertical angle to something like 80. Now we'll try rendering again. You can see this time we can actually see detail. It's not all washed out. This mode uh, works fine for when you're ready to present, but while you're working, you may prefer the hidden line removal mode. Make sure it's in enable graphics acceleration. Make sure that 
you are set to display dimensions, we'll do dimensions in another moment. In this mode, anything that's in the background, any of the lines in the background, become hidden. Now, finally, we'll dimension our project using the at key. We're going to do free form, and the rest of our options have already been set at the beginning of the tutorial. We find a corner, we click, find a corner, move out, click to enter. Now we repeat. We're going to do this next board, gravity snap. Sometimes I say click when I mean gravity snap. I almost always am using gravity snap. Once more to do this last distinct board. Gravity snap, gravity snap, move out. There we go. There is the completed strawberry trough. Thank you for listening.